Hi everybody, it's Ariel Warren, registered dietitian, type 1 diabetic, and certified diabetes educator. And today I'm going to teach you how to get your Dexcom G6 sensor to stick on you forever. Okay, maybe not forever, but honestly, since I started doing this, I have not had issues with my sensor falling off. I work at an outpatient endocrinology office, and I have patients coming in. They say, I love my G6 sensor, but it keeps falling off, and it's super frustrating. Okay, I have a solution for you, and it's really, really simple. So, here we go. Let's dive right in. Today, we're going to use our G6 sensor applicator, of course. We're going to use over patches. Then we're going to use skin tack, an alcohol swab, and then lastly, we're going to use a Dexcom receiver, phone, or tandem pump. Okay. If you don't have over patches, you can actually call Dexcom and they will send these to you. They're happy to send these to you because when you're using an over patch, you have a much decreased chance of your sensor falling off. And skin tack, you can get these about 50 for, so 50 of them for about 12 bucks on Amazon. Okay, so what we're first going to do is open our sensor. You got that, right? Okay, find the right little tear label to open it up. Okay, so we have our sensor out. It's nice and pretty. And, okay, I'm gonna put that to the side actually because I want to prepare the area. So if you took a shower recently, that's great. Just don't put lotion on afterwards if you are going to put a sensor on immediately. Okay, Dexcom is approved for your stomach, but you need to do where it's best for you. Personally, I like my backside. That's easier place for me, it works pretty well. I've seen patients use their arms, their legs, even their calves. You just figure out a place that works for you. Okay, so alcohol swab on my backside. If you want to try your backside and twisting around kind of freaks you out, you can use a mirror. So I'm gonna open this up and make sure that I am pretty liberal with it. Don't ever blow on it because then it gets germs in the area, but you can just wave at it. I'm impatient, so I like to wave. Okay, so that's on, we're good. And now I'm gonna to move to preparing my G6 sensor. Okay, so this is the tricky part. It's not tricky, but you don't ever want to put your skin tack directly on your skin. If the sensor goes through a film of the skin tack, it can actually mess with the sensor and then you're going to have issues with your signal. And so, or it can just kind of make for an unhappy sensor. So we're going to be tricky. Save on to this little code, by the way. You're gonna need this in part two of this series when I teach you how to do a total 10 day restart. So put this in your diabetes closet, cabinet. I know you have one, mine's right there. Okay, so we have our skin tack. Our area has been dried. We opened up our skin tack. I wanna make sure that it's wet. Sometimes they're kinda of dry. If so, just grab a different one. Okay, so we're gonna put this skin tack directly on the G6 applicator not on your skin. The reason for that is so that it never pierces through skin tack. Make sure that you take the middle of this applicator or, and you're gonna swipe down. And you don't have to be careful, just apply liberally, okay? And then you're gonna take the middle of your Dexcom applicator and swipe up. You don't wanna to go top to bottom because that'll fold it over and then you'll be really sad because then you have to get a new sensor. We don't want that, okay? So now it's still kind of sticky. I'm gonna take this part, this little orange piece off. My alcohol is definitely dry. It usually only takes about five seconds. This is a little bit sticky and now we're ready. So I'm just gonna put it on. You can kind of tint it and that can help your G6 sensor a little bit, tinting the skin. And then once I stick it on there, I wait about 10 seconds so the adhesive in the skin can really kind of stick together and then once I waited, then I just simply pull off. Now that I've pulled off, here's where you're gonna use the, the skin tack again. Okay, I'm gonna get an over patch ready. And now that it's on here, I'm gonna take my skin tack and wipe around. So this is like double duty. We put it on the adhesive, but not directly on the skin. And now we're going circling around 
the sensor part on top of the adhesive. And now I'm going to take the over patch and I'm going to, sorry, taking my concentration, stick it on on top of where I put the skin tack. So now it is really stuck on there. And then you just simply take the paper off and then I smooth it with my fingers. My fingers are a little sticky right now, but that's okay. And then lastly, you just take your little transmitter, which has been cleaned. You either can clean it with alcohol or you can clean it with the end of a pencil eraser, which is kind of nuts, but then you simply stick it in and you wait for that single click and it clicked in. If you do have a bleeder with Dexcom, you can call and they usually replace them, replace your sensor. But for me, if it bleeds just a little bit, then I'm not too worried about it. I haven't had issues. But if you have any issues before those 10 days are up, call Dexcom. They're really good to work with. And lastly, I will just start my new sensor on my phone. New sensor. Oh, of course, apply your code that you're going to save because we're going to do that restart in 10 days. Okay, my code. Let's take a photo. It's looking good. Next. Start sensor. Okay, two hour warm up. Here we go. Okay, so that was part one of this part two series. Next time I will teach you how to do a total 10 day restart. But again, Dexcom sensors are good for 10 days. That's what they're FDA approved for. And so if you ever do restart a sensor, just make sure you're being more cautious and watching it and, and thinking your, of your CGM as more of a trend and that can help you get more days. If you just get another day, that's great. If you get another 10 days or another 14 days, that's great. But again, it's FDA approved for 10 days. And if you get more days than that, just watch it a little more closely. So on day 24, after I had done this method of getting it on me and then doing my 10 day restart, which I'll teach you next time, I believe I tested and my blood sugar was about 177. And when I checked my Dexcom, it was around 152, so it wasn't even that off. But I still felt like, eh, it's not worth keeping it on at this point, so then I changed it. But it was still stuck on really, really well. Lastly, if you're having trouble with your diabetes and you just feel like you need someone to talk to to help maybe decrease this roller coaster ride, or maybe you feel like your insulin to carb ratio is off, or maybe you feel like you've been working well with your endo, but you need somebody to talk to in between, you can contact me. I'm here for you and I understand. As a registered dietitian, a certified diabetes educator, and also a type 1 diabetic, I get it. So you can reach out to me through my email or through my website. If you mention this video, then I would love to give you 5% off any of my coaching. Hopefully you're having a good day and stay tuned for part two where I teach you how to do that total 10-day restart. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.